Welcome back to Miller Music Studios TV. Today we're beginning a series on the Suzuki Piano School. This is mostly for very young children. You can start at like 19 months old, 2 years old. I do that quite often and get great results. Shinichi Suzuki was a violinist from Japan and he traveled all over the world concertizing. When he did, he noticed that the children, 2 or 3 years old, were all speaking with what he said was the mother tongue dialect. And that's basically you know, if you're in Italy, they're speaking Italian. If you're in France, you're speaking French. And even here in America, if a child is raised in New York, where I'm from, we have a New York accent, a little bit at least. And if where my mother was raised in Georgia, it would be a southern drawl, like, hi all y'all. So Mr. Suzuki thought to himself, since music is the universal language, I wonder if I were to figure out what's working for the spoken language and the written language and apply that to music, I wonder if this would work. And it did. So basically, what he noticed that for a baby, they're hearing the language muffled when they're in the womb. So if you play music for your baby when you're pregnant, they can actually hear it. When the baby is born, they're immersed in the language. Oh, beautiful baby. Oh, congratulations. So the baby right off the bat is hearing the language. So when you have a newborn baby, you can play music. Like for example, they say if you play Mozart, you're giving your baby genius because Mozart was a genius and his brain waves went into making his music. So when you either read it and play it on the piano yourself, or if you listen to a recording of it, you're getting his brain waves. So they call that the Mozart effect. So you, if you play that when they're very young, or you know any other music you want them to be accustomed to. And then, as soon as they become of age to be able to speak the language, if they say goo goo or dada or mama, they get a lot of positive reinforcement. Yay, the baby said goo goo! So with music, when your child does the least little positive thing correctly, you get a lot of positive reinforcement. Here we give prizes and treats. So you can do that too. And then they learn to uh, learn their ABCs, your alphabet. They learn to sound the ABCs, put some ABCs together with phonics, and then this turns into words, sentences, paragraphs. And then it's the spoken language, they have the written language, and they're fluent. So we can become literate with music the same way. With the Suzuki method, there are seven books. I'm going to begin, of course, with volume one. And I'll play the music for you for each of these videos. And then if you can play that part of the music for your child every day, just maybe take a minute a day, then they're hearing the language and then I'll teach you how to play it and the rhythms, uh, different ways to do it that's very easy. And before you know it, with volume one, learning the folk songs that are in there like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Mary Had a Little Lamb, London Bridge is Falling Down, the way that you're going to learn it is going to be with patterns that you'll use for volume two. Volume two is Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, Schumann. So it's the fast track into the classics. This is an ear approach. I'm also going to be teaching you on other videos how to read music and that's called the conservatory approach. So to begin with I'm going to play the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star variation A. There's variation A, B, C, and D with D being the actual theme song. I'll play it for you and you can play that for your child not all this talking part of the video, but if you just fast forward, see exactly where it starts. Like if it starts at 2 minutes and 38 seconds, just start it right there each day and let your child hear that, like in the background while they're playing with toys or something. Okay, so let's start there.
you play that every day for your child, he or she will become accustomed to it. And in the next video, I'll teach you how to start training your child to play that. It'll be a lot of fun. Happy practicing!